what's up y'all long time no see thank you for tuning in to the good side of youtube i am your girl dog goods also known as or better known as dog baby since yay high in the hood welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back okay y'all so basically i just am trying to be a woman of my i'm trying to be a woman of my word and i have been having on my to-do list every day to get this video out to let y'all know what's going on with me because even though i don't think i'll be on this page for a while i feel like i shouldn't just ghost this page like I would normally do things in life just when it's not interesting me or resulting in anything I just leave it be sometime but it's not even that it wasn't resulting to anything because I really was enjoying being in my car let me tell y'all what's going on. So let me tell you this so we can get to what we really need to get to. Whew. I kind of feel like, you know, um, I need to slow down. Okay, so I was recording. I remember the last thing that I talked to y'all about was that... I, I remember like I gave y'all like a little story time and I had been recording after that but I just stopped for some reason maybe I thought it wasn't good footage I don't really remember but I do remember that I was um forcing myself to really be in my car without going to people that I know and I know that y'all didn't heard me say this before but I was really doing that and I feel like it was time for me to cut off the camera because I said okay so if I'm gonna live this maybe I don't need to record this right now because it's too much on me filming is a lot um I feel like I'm not catching organic moments so it's not fun for me so let me just see what this life is really about with the camera off. Because, you know, when you have a camera on, it kind of gives you the motivation to go ahead and just do live the car life. But I really wanted to just see what this life would be like with the camera off, if that makes any sense because like i said it was just a lot to film and i really needed to sit in this so that's what i started doing i started living it out without recording really sitting in it it was a lot of things that i enjoyed and it was a lot of things that i didn't enjoy but i will say overall i enjoyed it more there was a humbleness to it. I felt closer to God doing it. Um, you know, I just felt closer to myself as well. Like I felt closer to the person that I am like in my dreams. Not saying some far-fetched dream just the person who my soul is in my dream y'all understand what i'm saying like do y'all when y'all dream do you feel like your real 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 soul like more than you feel living in everyday life like can you really feel your soul in your dreams but yeah I feel closer to that, even though 
I didn't have all the money in the world. I was struggling because I was trying to hold on to money because I didn't know what I was going to do for work. Uh, I was trying to eat a certain way. Going back and forth between trying to eat healthy, trying to figure things out. Um, I was sometimes uncomfortably hot. Sometimes I got good sleep. Sometimes I didn't get no sleep at all. I had to figure out what to do about the mosquitoes, which I did try this. Dang, dang. I'm going to find it and put it up here for y'all for anybody that may need a mosquito repellent. Now, to be truthful, this mosquito repellent, it worked for the mosquitoes, but I feel like it kind of attracted other buzzier bugs, like those flying bugs but at least they wasn't biting me but yeah it worked it was a really strong smell because i sprayed it all over um and yeah so it did work but like i said i did feel like sometimes it attracted other bugs but then you know i prayed about it and God made a way. I definitely, like I said, was getting closer to God. Uh, Y'all bear with me because I'm just really trying to think about what I need to say without having to edit this video too much, if at all. So, yeah, I was really in here and I was really like, okay, it may be tougher than I thought, although I've been up and down in this. I'll try it, then something happened, and I feel like I have to go back to the normal means of life like everybody else. And then I'll try it, and I was trying it on camera. But like I said, I never really tried it. Except for in the beginning, I did try it without recording. I did try it without, without recording, but it was very exciting then. And because it was the beginning. But as far as trying it this last time with no recording, like I said, it was a humbling experience. I felt closer to God. I found myself like this really peaceful place i found myself like revisiting a bunch of um things from my childhood by sitting in certain areas it just brought back good memories made me remember when i was a child and what i felt like my purpose was and stuff like that so it was a really good experience and i really planned on sticking it out and saving my money to get me some land i said i'm gonna stay in my car until i get some land because y'all know i don't know if y'all know but i've been back and forth thinking about should i get an apartment should i get a house like should i stay in my car until i get some land what should i do i've been back and forth on this on this for a while and i was like no i'm gonna stay in my car I'm going to stay in my car. I'm going to just stay in my car. This is the perfect time to stay in my car because I haven't made that big of a commitment. But I ain't going to lie. Being outside all day in the heat, it's a lot. Like, you got to try to figure out how to get stuff done. You got to have money, too. You do have to have money. You're going to be running out of gas unless you can find you a spot which i was about to look into find me a spot that i could just park my car anytime like a campground but me i was going to honestly look for a place to park without having to pay unless you do something like that you're going to be moving around and moving around and moving around and i wasn't even doing that i wasn't moving around i was finding my places that i go to and i was sticking to those places 
but sometimes it's extremely hot you get distracted so much stuff be going on you try to get work done and you know you feel like okay i'm tired of sitting here i gotta move around different type of stuff like that but i feel like i was getting it done i feel like i said well you know what god you're gonna be with me you're gonna lead me you know you're gonna tell me what to do i can get through this with you keep in mind i was putting in the back of my head that i'm not going back to work so i need to be looking for work as well so i was kind of uncomfortable with that i was supposed to collect unemployment this whole summer I'm the type of person, you give me the run around too much, I'm going to just let it go, you know. And I know that there's good information for a lot of unwell-meaning things, but that's just the truth. And even though I pushed forward through it, it still seemed like it was hoops and loops. And I, to me, that's, I mean, what, what is unemployment compared to that? So, I didn't get unemployment all this summer, though. I, it was due to me. Though it was owed to me. Though I could collect, you know. And first, but another thing is I filed for it later because um, I had told y'all <laughs> that I had hit a bus and I didn't know what they was going to do. It was on the parking lot. It wasn't like a real accident. It was just on base, as we call it. And um, I didn't know what they were going to do. So I was moving on to something else, trying to figure out what I could do somewhere else. But um, they called me about two to three weeks ago and asked me was I coming back. Orientation was actually today. So I will be thankfully going back. And I say thankfully because I'll be keeping my same route, which I didn't want to have to deal with doing a different route i rather deal with the same bad kids and honestly i really i really don't want to go back i really don't want to go back it's a big it's a big commitment it is not a easy job i liked it but it's a lot of responsibility it's much responsibility and i honestly would rather be working on my own business but okay, I'm gonna try to stay on topic. So with that set being said, you know, I had that in the back of my mind that I was gonna be needing to look for work. Not knowing where I'm gonna get the gas from, not knowing I'm, I'm trying to save this money that I had as long as possible. Wanting to go to Texas, but felt like I needed my brakes and stuff done and that was going to be a certain amount and I needed to come up with that amount and I did come up with that amount and if you go on my other page you'll see that I just got scammed out of well I I got took for four hundred dollars for four hundred dollars basically scammed child go look at my video on my um I believe that this y'all coming over there anyway because I believe that you can see my, I think when you show this page, you show the other page. Am I right? Somebody tell me. Please. I mean, don't be mean. Tell me. Like, you can tell me, please. Okay, this video is 13 minutes, 48 seconds. Okay, so. What else do I need to say? So, yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to try to live this life. Um, until I can save some money to get me some land. So, of course, a lot of stuff like in my life, and I wish I could tell y'all a full story, but the Lord says be discreet. And I don't think that nobody else want me telling y'all they business in order to tell y'all my business. I got to tell they business. So, I don't think those people want me telling their business. But I wish I could tell y'all so y'all can get it. Why I always feel like things always constantly start happening to where I feel like I'm forced. I don't know if forced is the right thing to say. But I get distracted. 
I get distracted and I feel like, you know, I'll be better off being a helping hand at this moment. It's not the right time. Maybe this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. And, um, so it's a bunch of little kids and stuff riding on the church park, um, parking lot, y'all. Um, I'm getting distracted now as well. But, um, let's try to focus. What I was saying was, you know, somehow, okay, I, I'll, I'll get around family for a couple of days and all type of stuff start popping off. All st type of stuff start popping off, start popping off, start popping off to literally where my energy is basically drained. And... I just be drained. I just be drained. I just be so drained. And I be like, I need to stay in the house for a while. And maybe just sleep this off. Even though I wasn't just this drained when I was in my car. Now, I can't say that I wasn't drained. I was high. I was uncomfortable. But there was still this peace especially at nighttime like i found myself doing more stuff at nighttime but that's not something that i could continue in with me having to be to work at four o'clock coming soon august the 15th so y'all i say all of that to say this because i really thought i was gonna keep this going and i'm still trying to figure out a way to do it But for now, I had to come and tell y'all what's going on with me. So my sister had already been talking about me moving in with her a while back. I even, I believe I even told y'all that. But she had already been talking about me moving in with her for a while. I help her a lot with my nephew because I love my family, y'all. And I want to be in his life, you know. I'm at the age where I understand the importance of even though I'm I'm his, you know, I'm his auntie and it's important to me that I'm in his life. And I know people with kids probably would be already living their own life at this age, but I'm not. I don't have kid. I'm not with child. And he's important to me and so is my little cousin very important to me. It's important to me that I'm in their life. So it's always this back and forth thing of like, should I get my own stuff to, uh, so they can always have different places to go to and I can always be in their life. And I was making way. I said, okay, gotta make way for me to be in their life even if I do my own thing. But providing a space for them that would be a little something different and i do believe that if i pressed and i pressed and i pressed and i pressed that he could provide a space for them as well if i was doing this i mean living in a car but it would probably take a little longer so like i said my sister was asking me did i want to live with her and save money up uh, you know, just until she gets comfortable in her own home with her first baby. This is her first baby. So she wanted me to stay with her. I think my sister is one of those people that like company. Me, I could, <laughs> I could care less. I could care less about the company. I can be alone. I can be by myself. And at first I was like, no, 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 no. It's not going to work out. I know me and I'm still every day. I don't know what's going to happen. Because I know me, uh, I don't, I, I don't like staying with people. But I also know that a lot of my shortcomings are because of me. So I'm trying to. I don't want to go off into another topic, y'all. So a bunch of stuff pops off again and I end up over here at my sister's house, y'all. 
So that's where I'm at. I'm over here at my sister's house. Uh, we're working out some type of, of arrangement. I try to make sure I bring value into the home while I'm there because she's not asking me to pay anything. And I really haven't agreed to be here because I know when I work, when I start working again, I'm probably going to get my own place. I really don't want to. I really want to save and get my own land. But I also want to see my nephew and my little cousin. You know, I want to decorate and do all the cute stuff like that. But, um, the light didn't change. So now I'm over here at my sister house, y'all. I'm over here at my sister house and I'm trying to figure out use for this page. Or I'm trying to figure out maybe I'll do a week at her house. Maybe I'll do a week out here. It's going to get cold so it, it might be get easier. But I do have to be to work at 4 o'clock in the morning. And I knew there was going to be a lot. With me, with Planet Fitness, not even... No, I'm going to have to be up at 4. I got to be to work at 6. With Planet Fitness not opening until 5 o'clock in my area, even though I can go to either gym, I knew there was going to be a lot on me. And I'm the type of person that it sometimes takes me two hours to get up and get ready. By absolutely really doing nothing. Just getting my mind right, preparing my mind. I didn't know how I was going to make that work. I didn't know how I was really going to make that work. So, I know this is not the end of this journey. I know that, that is, this is not the end of this journey. I don't know what I'll be doing to the, with this page. I'm going to do something with it. The Lord will give me some type of idea. I speak it, I decree it, I declare it. It may just take a while. Um, like I said, I started off with pretty good views from my first video. And they, they've kind of went, went down. So I kind of think that this is just practice for me anyway. I will. I believe I haven't got what I wanted. Because I haven't asked not. I haven't asked. I really haven't asked the good Lord up above for it. So, and I want to make sure that I'm ready for it. So, I'm just having fun right now. But I will be on my beauty page now that I'm back in the house. I started to explain this on my beauty page, but for what? This is where I've been. I'm only explaining it to y'all. And y'all can come over to my beauty page if you want to come over to my beauty page. Um... No, nah, not that I know of. I don't know. I'm just sitting right here, Miss Bond. I'm just sitting right here. <laughs> but, uh, let me see. So, what was I saying, Jassy? What was I saying? I hope the wind ain't blowing. Because so, the wind is blowing, but I hope. It don't feel like it's blowing hard to me. It feel good, but it don't feel like it's blowing hard to me. But yeah, if y'all want to watch me, I'm still going to be recording. I'm just recording in the house now. And now it's going to be more so about beauty. Y'all know I even bring beauty over here. So maybe that's really what I'm into. This is, a, um, this is like, this, I, this is my soul page, I want to say. All of it that I do is my soul, but I think this is the more humble part of it, or I can't really explain it. I will when I figure it out, y'all. But um, if y'all want to see me, then come over to my come over to my page. It's called Beauty. It's gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here for y'all. It's Beauty and the Goods Girl. Beauty in the goods girl remember i am doll goods also known as or better known as baby da or doll baby girl which one i'm gonna say i've been saying doll baby but they do be calling me baby doll or doll baby but 
I am, you're watching the Goods Girl channel. I go by the name Doll Goods, also known as, or better known as, Doll Baby, since yay high in the hood. So, now, you're going to be coming over to Beauty and the Goods Girl. Okay, and I got one more video that I want to talk to y'all about because it's just about being a woman of, of my word, just in case anybody you know this has been on anybody's heart i just feel like it needs to be addressed too but that's the end of this video see you in the next one. Oh yeah y'all i'm gonna have to edit because i had to come back and tell y'all this so this is the one of the biggest things too for one of my main reasons on why i said okay I'm going to go back in the house. Go back to the living on the inside type of thing. So, one of the biggest reasons for that was because... I know I talked about it a little bit in this video. was because of my eating habits. It was time to start eating better. And taking myself more seriously in that era, area. And it was going to be hard to try to start finding foods that I like. Transitioning to healthy food is so hard when you're addicted to food to transition already. It's already hard, especially on top of the distractions that we have in life, the temptation, the stuff pushing you this way or that way this was one of the that was one of the biggest determining factors i was like i really want to start eating better i really want to get healthier so um on my new page on my new page that is what we will be doing that is the sole thing of my page right now over there. Beauty, things beauty related. That is something that you can count on when you come over there. I mean, I know you can count on it over here at this page too, but we was getting more. So like, baby, we was finna get more in the era of not wearing nothing, no makeup, no type of makeup. And still we were gonna kill it because it's not about the makeup either. That's not even here or there, but you can count on something beauty related we're going to do stuff that's beauty related just by being our natural self if you like to see somebody play dress up get cute do the cute stuff um and you want to get serious about your health journey hey let's do it together let's do it together that's what i'm doing on that page beauty related stuff and getting my health together we're giving good gifts over there, okay? We got good gifts here. That's what these channels were started for. For the good, the good in this world that I was trying to put out. You know, I'm not through. I'm not done yet. My story is not over yet. It's really just getting started. But I'll be preaching the same thing on my page. But like I said, yes, that's the place to go. So y'all that rock with me, that really, really, really rock with me. I know that y'all might not come in all the time. I really appreciate y'all. I thank y'all for the ones who watch. I know it's at least about 50 people that watch my videos when I put them out. I am thankful for y'all. Come over to my other page, girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on to my other page if you rock with me. If you just want to see what I got going on, don't matter what I'm doing. I'm so sorry if to disappoint you. If all you were watching me for was living in a car, I get it. Um, you might be doing the same thing right now and you just wanted somebody to relate to. But maybe I can relate to you on some of those things on that page. So I hope that you come over, girl but it is my page is beauty that's b e a u t y and the little symbol the end symbol with the beauty and then space the goods girl 
just like it's spelled over here. So this beauty in together and space the good girl. Y'all come on over. Come on over and check on me over there, okay? All right. Bye for beauty. That's B E A U T Y and the little symbol the end symbol with the beauty and then space the goods girl just like it's spelled over here so this beauty in together and space the goods girl y'all come on over come on over and check on me over there okay all right Bye for beauty that's B E A U T Y and the little symbol, the end symbol with the beauty, and then space the goods girl, just like it's spelled over here. So this beauty in together and space the goods girl. Y'all come on over. Come on over and check on me over there, okay? All right. Bye for real.